Now the question is the minimum value of x in x square. So let me explain that. So let me come to the problem now. The function is h of x is equal to minimum of x comma x square. It means whatever is minimum, whatever is minimum between x and x square, that is equal to that is equal to h of x. Okay. Now, up dekhte graphically. Now let's again plot the graph. Same graphs I'm plotting again. So let me plot the graph of again. This is y is equal to x. And the black graph was y is equal to x square. Now we'll learn how to solve it graphically. Okay. And it's verbal question. This is y equal to x square. And the green one is y is equal to x. Now, guys, listen to me very, very, very carefully. Okay. Now I am moving from here to here. I am moving from left hand side and going to right hand side. And I will always think between the two two graphs, which is minimum. Minimum matlab, which is below, which is below. The one which is below is the minimum. So listen to me very carefully. When I move from here to here, which graph is lower? Which graph is lower? This graph is lower. So between minus infinity to zero, between black graph and green graph, between the green graph and the black graph, which graph is lower? Which graph is lower is minimum, which I'm marking in red. This one. Now between 0 to 1, between 0 to 1, green or black, which one is lower? This one is lower. And after 1, which one is lower? This one is lower. That's it. You have the graph. The shaded portion, its graph, the shaded portion, okay? this, this shaded portion is the graph of is graph of the given function hx that's it what do you need to do plot its graph plot its graph which you have learned just now then the one then keep picking up the graph which is lower at any given x okay now this suddenly tells me this so pink graph is x square this blue graph is y equal to x then this shaded portion is minimum of x and x square. If you remove the other portion, your graph actually looks like this. Your graph actually looks like this. Okay. Now my question is, guys. Now if you read the question. If you knew the graph, which is this, then can you tell me where the function is continuous and where differentiable? Is there a hole anywhere in the function? Does the function break anywhere? No. It is completely continuous. If a ant, if a cheat, if an ant keeps moving on this, it will not fall anywhere. So function is continuous everywhere. Continuous everywhere. Okay. Is it differentiable everywhere? No. Look at this. If you look at these two points, you see a sharp corner like this sharp corner like this right since you see the sharp corners hence at these two points the function is not differentiable it's a sharp corner function is not differentiable at all x okay so hx is not differentiable at two values of x which are those values x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 Got it? Now, third question. H dash x equal to 1. Very simple. Again, let me explain you. Now, your function ka definition is y is equal to x here. Here it is y is equal to x square. And here it is y is equal to x. So, actually, you can write your h of x as, listen to me very carefully again. For x less than 1, for x less than 0, sorry. It is y is equal to x for x less than 0. 
it is it behaves like x square for x lies between 0 to 1 and it behaves like x again for x greater than 1 it is always very simple to differentiate this guys always remember if you know the function its differentiation finding is very simple just differentiate these individual functions what is the differentiation of x 1 what is the differentiation of x square 2x what is the differentiation of x 1 so you see now if somebody asks you what is the differentiation of the function for all x greater than 1 okay it this symbol means for all okay so what is the differentiation of the function for all x greater than 1 you can see this is the function for x greater than 1 your function is this and its differentiation is y dash x or h dash x means kita ho jayega 1 so its differentiation is 1 that's it this is also true so answer is a c and d yeah let's look at this one let me explain this to you and then i'll give you a problem based on this exact same thing which came in iit now i'm going to teach you you learned this right mod of fx now i'm going to teach you f of mod x